والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the life. Inna alhamdulillah. نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Ramadan is your second chance Last episode we talked about Hadith Jibreel alayhi salam and we said your goal should be in this month is to achieve the level of Ihsan and insha'Allah we will explain to you how to do so just hang in there but we ask a question the last episode why Jibreel alayhi salam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua against those who observe Ramadan just by making themselves hungry and just by making themselves thirsty. And where do we find that? We find this in Sunan al-Tirmidhi in Hadith Abi Hurairah radiallahu an. One day the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam climbed his bulbit, which has three steps. And with each step, he said, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. The companions were amazed. And after he faced them, they asked him, O Messenger of Allah, why did you say Ameen, Ameen, Ameen three times? The Prophet wasallam said, Jibreel alayhi salam, came to me, and he made dua against three individuals. And I said, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. The first dua, a loser, someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his life to observe the month of fasting, Ramadan, and he comes out of the month unforgiven. He wasted the month. That he was unable to gain forgiveness in this month. And I said, Ameen. As for the second one, someone, my name is mentioned in front of him, and he does not say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Ala Muhammad. And the third one, someone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him the opportunity that his parents or one of them are alive. And because of his kindness to them, he does not enter Jannah. Shahid, the evidence that we're using here, is a person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his life to live throughout the month of Ramadan, and he comes out of it unforgiven. This is a loser. Why, brothers and sisters in Islam? Again, as we mentioned last episode, that there are three golden opportunities in this month. The first opportunity you get, just by fasting the month. The second opportunity you get, just by standing in taraweeh at night, after Isha. The third opportunity you get, just by observing the night of Al-Qadr, in the last ten nights of the month. 
three golden opportunities for you to earn forgiveness. Add to this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan prepares the whole universe for you. Listen to this hadith. And the hadith, hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari wa Muslim, min hadith Abi Huraira, radhi Allahu an, idha jaa Ramadan, when Ramadan is here, futtihat abwabu al-jannah, the doors of heaven, of paradise, are open. وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النِّيرَانِ And the doors of hell are shut. وَصُفِّدَتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ And the shayateen, the satans, the jinni, once are chained for you. I know some of you are wondering, why do we see some evil sometimes? The best of explanation, what the Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani rahimahullah mentioned, that their impact, the impact of shayateen, are lessened or limited because they are chained. Or the evil that you still see in earth because of the work of the shayateen of mankind. And we know there are shayateen of mankind in earth. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan is your second chance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month make a caller and this addition of Hadith Abi Huraira fi Sunni Tirmidhi. Listen to this. Ya baghi al khayr, aqbil. O seeker of good, come forward. Wa ya baghi al sharr, aqsir. O seeker of evil, stay away. Wa lillahi utaqa'u min al nar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free necks from the hellfire every night of this month. Brothers and sisters in Islam, in this month, you find a lot of people making it to the masjid more than the normal. Sometimes they don't pray the five daily prayers in the masjid, but you will find a lot of them so keen, so keen on observing Salat al Taraweeh in the masjid. This all help you, brothers and sisters in Islam, to earn forgiveness in this month. Do not waste this month. Do not waste this month. Observe the month. Iman and Wahtisaba, out of faith, seeking the reward, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all your sins, the past. But we have to be careful here. Hadith Abi Huraira, radiallahu an, fi sahih Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as salawatul khams, the five daily prayers, wal jumu'atu ila al jumu'ah, and Friday to Friday, wa ramadanu ila ramadan. And from Ramadan to Ramadan, مُكَفِّرَاتٌ لِمَا بَيْنَهُنَّ إِذَا مَجْتُنِبَتِ الْكَبَائِرِ They expiate the sins between them as long as you stay away from the major sins. Don't forget that you're going to have to make a tawbah from the major sins in order to get all your sins cleaned from your books. And Ramadan becomes your second chance, insha'Allah. Now, in order to make Ramadan your second chance, you must strive to accomplish the level of Ihsan in this month. We go back to the hadith that we started with. The level of Ihsan. You know, in the past, during the school, in order to go to a certain university, or college, you must have certain scores. And you have to wait until the university or the college decides what percentage you must have in order to be permitted or allowed to be a student in that college. You know, the best student is the student who scores 99% or 100%. He does not have to wait. He goes ahead and he signs right away in that college, in that university. The same thing with you. In order to guarantee, insha'Allah, that you will get your sins forgiven in this month, and you will not be amongst those whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua, and Jibreel alayhi sallam made dua against, strive to achieve the level of ihsan in this month. The level of ihsan. How can you achieve the level of ihsan in this month? But wait a minute, because a lot of people, 
don't value forgiveness. And I want to share with them a hadith that is compiled in Al-Hakim, fi mustadrak Al-Hakim, in hadith Aisha radiyallahu anha. Hear this with your heart, will you? Aisha radiyallahu anha ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulallah, O Messenger of Allah, if I get a chance that I observe the night of Al-Qadr, and we know the supplication, the dua of, night al- of the night of Al-Qadr is an accepted one, what should I say? You see, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directed Aisha radiallahu anha to the best of dua. He did not tell her, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so and so and so in this dunya. You know what he told her? Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anni. O oh Allah, you are forgiving. You like to forgive. So forgive me. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ramadan is your second chance to come out with a new birth certificate where your books are edited from the major and minor sins. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I remind you again with the three golden opportunities in this month. Fasting, Iman and Wahtisaba, believing and seeking the reward. Two, standing in Taraweeh, Iman and Wahtisaba, out of faith and expecting the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, observing the month of Ramadan, Observing the night of Al-Qadr, which is in the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan, will grant you this opportunity as well. Please, do yourself a favor. You never know if you will last another Ramadan or not. Earn the forgiveness now. But the only assurance, inshallah, for you to earn forgiveness in this month, is if you strive hard to achieve the level of Ihsan in this month. How can you achieve the level of Ihsan in this month? Insha'Allah, the level of Ihsan has three areas. You're dealing with the people, your acts of worship, and your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can you achieve the level of Ihsan, insha'Allah, in, the, in those three areas? Bi'idnillahi ta'ala, we will answer this question, insha'Allah, in the next episode. Do not miss the next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.